G'day and welcome back to Stitch Up and another episode of Factorio, my biter world. Okay, so um, now turn the music down and it's very, very quiet in the background, but hopefully not too quiet because that sounds really, really quiet. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> um, yeah, I might actually go here and just go to settings, sounds. Let's have a look. So I've got the master at 12. Uh, with music there. Let me just go music slightly up to 27. Confirm. And we'll see how that goes. Anyway, so we've made quite a few changes to My Bider World. And we have also, just to let you know, so we're getting, really getting attacked in the top section. So I guess where it's been, and I've been tinkering in between episodes and tinkering a lot in between the last episode and this one. But I think where we really are now is that... Um, these, uh, by the way, look at the big power poles we have there. Lovely. Uh, the, I, I've increased. Here we go. This is it. <laughs> see, see the biters come and attack here. Uh, and I'll just jump in here. And I've managed to switch the weapon. So since the since there was an update, and you used to use Q for the weapon uh, change, and you now use Tab. So I've now got um, this machine gun, submachine gun, a shotgun, and a submachine gun. Um, and yeah, that's all. That's all lovely. I produced uh, a lot of when using red bullets on all of these, and I've got some um, some of the uh, the gunshots there as well. So let's tap into the middle one. So next time we get into it, we might be able to uh, use our gun and see how that goes. Um, okay, so I've increased the walls here. So if, uh, a lot of the walls are quite uh, quite uh, well quite. Well, four, three and four thick. They're three thick across here. And I guess what it'll do is this will give me time to uh, still be building and doing stuff on the, on the base and in the general factory. And then I could just check on this. Uh, and I can use the map to check on it as well, which is lovely. Um, because I, when I'm down there, uh, I've I've, uh, whoop, hang on, let's go to that and let's do this. Uh, I've realized when I go to the map, I can check on something. And if we were being attacked down here, I can scroll in to the point where I can, hang on, where I can see it. Uh, is it? Hang on. Uh, I think it's only if you're being attacked that you can scroll down and see it. Is that is that correct? No, there we are. You can scroll down and see things. So I could scroll down and see the factory. Uh, and I would be able to see... Why is that not working? Oh, I'm too far out. I can only do it in sections... Aha! Uh -huh. I can only do it where the... Ah! Because I'm up here, and I, I can only do that when um, where, where my uh, coverage of my radars is. Okay, brilliant. So it's a nice big learning curve for me. So, at the end of the last episode, we got... Um, we got ourselves automated for green science, and I've been kicking off some of the sciences uh, in, in, in between episodes. I'm just going to jump in now. Some of the big ones I wanted to wait and leave. So military science, you get the effect of the military science, uh, which is that grey one, I believe. Fluid handling, because we are going to move on to oil at some stage. But before we move on to oil, I want to show you. So let me just get one of these going. Uh, and in fact, I did lab research speed one. No, nope, I'll do it now. Lab research speed is the next one we are doing. So let's jump in. And what I'm going to do is I've got basically my factory and it is quite square and we've got the smelting up here. I've had to ramp up this smelting a little bit as well for the um, copper plates. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move the entire smelting. So I'm going to move all of the, I'm not the steel smelting, it can stay there, but I'm going to move all of the uh, copper smelting and definitely all the iron smelting. So that'll free up real estate in here to um, upscale circuit production and things like that things that I know I'm going to need beyond uh, oil and beyond uh, or beyond green science, automated green science, which is where I pretty much am in the game. I have also got uh, collecting a few circuits there, so that's good. I'm finding uh, I'm using a lot of circuits and I've been replacing a lot of my inserters with um, with fast inserters, the blue inserters, which is great. Now, uh, what I've also decided to do is use a blueprint. I've cleared out some trees, and we had the tree stumps here just a little while ago. But what we're going to do is um, we're going to we're going to use um, this blueprint because I, I I've never used a blueprint before, and I went on to um, uh, where is it? It is. Uh, 
It's this other site here. It's uh, Factorio Blueprints or something. But Neil House. Um, so I've watched Neil ha Neil House. Um, Neil House. Neil, Neil House. I've watched Neil House's uh, his, a lot of his series, and Catherine of Sky even um, talked about him the other day. And so I thought, oh well, if she, I was actually looking for Catherine of Sky's Blueprints, but she she recommended uh, one of Neil House's. So I've grabbed this one, and I really like it because it's just for uh, smelting. So we've basically got the book with the three. So we've got the mining, basic mining, basic basic smelting we're going to use and basic steel smelting so we're going to use two of these and we're going to put them in there and we're going to get the copper and the regular going so let's get this one going and let's jump out of this one yep and I think we're going to do it here so we're going to run it along here so if I do it this way I can extend it all the, all the way down and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two of these in so like one here but I'm going to leave a bit of room here because we're going to have that main section in the middle so we can always we can always extend onto onto the land there so I'm thinking we if we put this one say here and extend it uh, I just want to watch that watch that uh, iron ore so we're going to put it there yep and then the next one I'm going to try and put exactly the same spot so if we do that and that, and I don't know if I should leave a gap, but I don't think I will. Uh, actually, let's leave one gap. Let's leave a gap of, actually, let's leave a gap of two. Oh, that's nice with the gap of three. Yeah, we never know what we're going to have to run. We've got fuel that we might have to run. So these two will be um, ore, a couple, uh, sorry, uh, iron, iron smelting, and they'll, they'll also extend all the way down. So they'll come along all the way into here, probably into the water. And then we'll leave the same gap down there, and we'll do another one here. So it is going to be there. Okay, this will be the copper one. All right, and now we have our blueprints. And I've never built them, but we're going to try and build them. So I guess what's going to have to happen as well is we're going to have to... Um, we'll, we'll get rid of all this, but we'll keep it going for the start. And then what we'll do is we'll reroute it. And then wherever it's picking up, we're going to have to... Where the production lines are starting to be picked up to, to take the steel plates and the copper plates off to other areas of the factory for manufacturing. We're going to have to reinstate that. But we'll keep this going in the meantime. Um, and then we'll, we'll see how it all goes. Okay, so we know we're going to have to feed in the raw products here and the raw products here. And that's fine. Let's just go for the this one here first. Uh, the the iron ore now we will need to uh, well we need to get we've got a few uh, splitters we've got a few underground belts and a few standard transport belts we've also got power poles but we're going to use the smaller ones so we will need to make sure we use these ones in fact let me just put those there for now um, and we will need to what else do we need we've got plenty of the uh, the stone furnaces and we are going to use blue inserters because I just I just want to I just want to use blue inserters from now on um, and let's kick off okay so it even has I think it even has lights in it are these lights yeah I think they are okay let's get some more research going just in the meantime um, gee solar energy could be good it keeps everything going too Let's do solar energy. We'll do we'll do everything, and that that's 250. So that will take quite a while. So at least that'll keep the machines moving, which I like the idea of, uh, and that'll be great. Uh, listening out for attacks, and we'll go and check on uh, check on this. But if you have a look here at the this system, again, I don't know what what this is doing here. Um, I know that they're setting up another base closer to mine, and we've got um, there's my three turrets and. We've got more turrets all around there, so I know these guys haven't been giving me too much trouble. It's up top that we've got a base well inside, and this is, it was only here, but they've set up another one closer. Uh, they are attacking there, so let me see if I can, if I can go down to it. Uh, no. Are they still attacking? Seven biters. Uh, let's see that. It's just over here. Yeah, they seem to have finished their attack. Just going to go across and see if we're... If we if we scroll out, yeah, we are getting them attacking the the other part of the base by the look of it. Um, uh, yeah, I think it's all pretty good. We've just got level one bullets here. I meant to I meant to tell you as well at the very top up here. I do have uh, level uh, level two bullets in this one. 
and if you have a look on the left hand side of the screen and 190 level one bullets in this one so I'm gradually swapping them out but I do have uh, also a chest in the middle of my game here um, somewhere I'll show you in a little bit and that's got some uh, empty things that I wanted to clear out of my belt and just keep quite a few spaces so everything in the belt is being reassessed I was watching Catherine Sky and that's exactly what she was doing so oh by the way boxes in the background you see all the boxes uh, we are moving house. So yes, we're moving from the east of London into the west of London. Queen's Park is the new suburb. Okay, uh, let's do this. Now what we'll do is we're going to use a simple splitter and we are going to split this. Um, yep, and that's going to be coming down there. So that's all right. And let's do... Uh, let's do this. And then we will... Uh, do that and use another splitter on this side and this splitter will now bring it on both sides uh, so I think we want to yep yeah I think we want to do exactly that Oop, they're attacking where are they attacking people they're attacking at the north maps we could see them just here it's just an attack that's fine I think we're just gonna have to go with that I mean if they get in we're going to be in trouble, but we've got to we've got to assume that those defences are doing pretty well. There's one here, so I think we might have yet yeah, one wall has been destroyed. So that's what's been destroyed. I thought it might be how many biters. That means we had seven pieces of something destroyed. I assume wall um, down south. So we'll get this going, and then we will we'll do something. Now I know here I went in and had a look, and I'm looking at the picture on the other monitor over here. But I know here that this one feeds in. Um, feeds in coal and this one here feeds in the, the raw product in this case iron ore and nothing in the middle because that's a splitter for the coal so uh, let me see if I can get all this uh, up and running so what we've got here is this one here is going here so it's this then we spin it and it's this and um, yes we need a corner here Right, and if I go up, I should be able to do it like that. Okay, and now we want this to be, uh, we want it to be there and there, and we want a splitter to be here, and then reversing splitter for here with a bit of coal uh, in this one. So if we go like this, and it's straight in. Okay, cool. That's dispersing coal on that side. And if we come back off here, we will put a gap and we're going to feed it in. This is going to be quite a feed in. So let's go there. And I think we'll just do it as a gap in the middle. Uh, right. Ooh, ooh. I saw there was a research you can do to stop you moving on belts. And that, that seemed quite cute. Um, I thought we were <laughs> not a mod, but an actual research. So it's interesting. Uh, it just kind of doesn't really... I don't know. That doesn't really... And it doesn't seem to to work uh, all right let's see um, now we're gonna split this off and bring it under and then we're going to go like this okay this is coal um, so that should be pretty good um, and let's see here yep we'll use a split up and we will split the coal here and then we will bring it underneath uh, are we going to do that right there? Could. We could. In fact, we could be smart though. Let's do that there all the way to there. And we'll give ourselves a little bit of room for future improvements. Um, and you should now be able to go like this. And like that. Okay, now there's a bit of... Aha! Uh -huh. That is a split line. We'll break that line immediately. And let's see if we could just do this. Um, right, uh -huh, right, okay. So we just, we just want, we just want coal. So we're gonna have to increase coal production when we get all this going. But what we'll do, let's get it going under, let's get it going down here. Yep, let's get the second line going like this. And then I reckon, oh now, oh that didn't take long for that science to be done. Okay, um, what have we got there? We've got the underground, and it's going to be here to there. Over there, 
And let's get this split up here. We are now going to have to, and by the way, I did commit the, one of the very basic uh, mistakes. Well, not mistakes, actually. I did it knowingly, but um, one of the things that people might be thinking is why is he built uh, defences over the top of his... Um, over the top of his... Uh, coal, coal deposits, and that's a good question, but I did it anyway, and I did it knowingly, um, so we're actually going to need to increase it, because I'm going to need this, so we might go up to the, to the north, and redesign that, and just get some, get some slights, uh, I'll just redesign it temporarily, and then I can kind of do it a little bit better, uh, but let's just get this up and running, actually, let's get this going, so um, if we do this, okay, and let's see how long, be a fair way anyway, right down there, and let's go with uh, lights, so we'll put the lights in first, so it's going to be, uh, ooh, I don't, don't really want to do this, um, let's go there, D if I go here, does that move it, nope, mm -hmm. I'm going to put it exactly where it tells me to put it, please, Uh, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's interesting because it's a ghost, isn't it? It's a ghost version of it. Um, so it's hard to kind of... And I'm hoping I'm going to be okay putting these um, uh, using blue inserters as well. So hopefully that's going to be good. And all these inserters will go one, two, three, four. And then it will be one, two, three, four. We'll use medium power. And we'll get these guys going on if we do this right up the middle of it. Ooh, that could be good. That could be good, isn't it? Yeah. Just nice design-wise, I think. Let's just do that nice and slowly and connect it in. And it'll be, say, there. And then we don't have any more of those, so I'm going to use a small one in the meantime just to go... There you go. So, these guys should now be producing. Okay, so that does it like that. And that will fill it all up nicely. Oh, look, it puts them quite symmetrically in there as well, and at exactly the same time as well. So it'll be interesting. These will separate once we get the coal holding us up, and I believe the coal will hold us up soon. So let's um, let's put a break there, and we'll see if we can keep it nice and symmetrical by increasing the coal production. So let's jump up and have a look at coal production. Just before we do that, jumping on here, and let's keep moving on some of this. We want one that's got a fair bit here. Uh, let's try for... We got here. They say I can do them. They're unlocked, but I don't have the appropriate products. Ah, well, let's go concrete. Yeah, and that should be... Concrete should be coming along nice. So 250, so it should take a while to get in there, but let's have a look. Drinking beer as well. Oh, look at the beer. Drinking Fosters as well. Australians do not drink Fosters. But they do in London. So I wanted to do that in London and see what it tastes like and it is shite uh, it's not too bad not that fussy with with beers to tell you the truth okay so this one will get we'll move at another point but we need to increase the production of these guys we do have eight more of those so let's go about doing this now so I'm not gonna need to be on the outside to do this and I'm just gonna hope that the biters don't actually the biters don't go absolutely mental so let's do this let's just go in here and let's go with the, is it the walls? I've got a fair few walls there, which is lovely. And we'll go across, across. Um, actually going to, don't know why I did this. I'm just going to pick up, pick up all of that. Don't know why I put down the um, path on the outside. I was trying to be decorative, I guess. But uh, let's, let's pick him all up. I think he's picked up now. If they attack me on the outside, I'm in big trouble. Uh, and let's go straight across here with the walls. And we want, we want three across to get these walls happening. Okay, we might just do it to there. I think that might be good enough. And we'll have to go and get some more walls at some point, but that should be alright. Let's just say well, we need to get a few, rid of a few of these right now anyway, because we want to put extra. Um, mines on there. Let's we'll run these mines straight across. Um, so this should be enough. In fact, we're being attacked there. Look at the size of that one. 
Look at the size of the sword. When everything's holding up, I think those red bullets are doing an absolute treat. So if they do come in on this side, we're in big trouble. So I might try and relocate some of these walls immediately. And we've just got ourselves 48 of those. Um, please don't mine anything. Please do not mine coal. Okay, great. And we'll put the walls in. So we go like that. And now we go for a third one here. And it is four that we're going to do, actually, not three. So we'll just put this in here. You guys are good. Yep, lovely. I don't know why that did that, or why it does that. Um, and that's that bit there that we don't have to worry about too much. Um, right, let's put you here. And let's put you here. Okay, now we should be able to go ahead and increase our production. So let me get four more of these. We're putting them with a gap of one. Yep, so they're a little overlapped, but that's all right. We're going in knowingly. Uh, now we do, how do we go for these guys? Let's have a look for those medium sized poles. And it does look like copper plates is what we need. Uh, in the meantime, let's just use small power poles because we have them. Uh, and that would work if I go there and there. I'll put them off center so I know to replace them a little bit later. Uh, actually, I wanted to put them off center, but that was silly. Okay, I will come back and replace them later. Um, and that is pretty good. And if we can get some, let's get these guys in. Okay, hopefully that's going to increase the production quite a bit. Uh, I probably could have banded, banded up here actually and just see how that goes. But I've added four in. We had one, two, three, four, five. We've got four, a total of nine. And let's see if we're going to be okay. Uh, I will now just go and get some more walls as well. So here's my little collection pot uh, here. And it looks like the walls are going to be here. And I want to get half of those walls. So is that stopped? I stocked them up right a bit. And I'm just going to go straight back up and, f and just... um. So I'm dreadfully worried they're going to come inside and attack uh, these parts of the base. So let's see. What's that one doing? It's mining on nothing to mine. It's mining on nothing. And this one's going close to mining on nothing. It's very slow. So let's do this. Let's swing it around. Um, right. I want to... This is going to be... Let's get the mines in first. No, you, yep. Okay. So if you could be, say... Uh, ooh, ooh, there we go. So if you can be, say, let's go for there, and you can go there, and you can go, say, there, and you can go there. All right. Now what we'll do is we'll go. Right, you'll go here. And we'll get the electric ones done in, and then we'll just do it like that. So he feels onto that side. So it might be heavy on that top side of the belt, uh, but that's all right. We can tidy all this up and just get into it. Okay, they're all moving now. I believe we might have uh, power issues. We probably need to... I don't know if this is frame rate issues or if this is power issues. I assume it's power, because I assume that the power network is going to struggle. Yep. I reckon it is. I reckon the power network is ready to go offline because it's not getting enough coal um, and it's, look, it's struggling. I don't think it's frame rate, is it? Everything's just not spinning well. Is that, is that sector scanning consumer electricity? The electricity is, is this frame rate? Uh, maybe. I think we've got power problems. So it's one, it's two, four, so if we go two. Family, oh god, they're attacking again. Right, we're going to have to, uh, let's continue along that way, the exact same way that we've been doing. And we'll just increase that. So if I did make up some extra landfills. So we're going to get these guys, so let's do them here. Yep, and now we can go. Let's just check on the, uh, the, the situation with the burners. Uh, not the burners, the... Um, what are they called? The furnaces? Okay, uh, if we have a look here, so we have steam engines and we, ne uh, we need boilers. So let's go for um, uh, 10 and 20. So uh, 1, 2, and 1, 2, 3, 4. Right, and we can go up here and 
get those going. Okay, and do I have burner inserters? I just want... Just want... Um, one, two, thank you. Okay. Alright, let's increase this network. So we're going to step this up a little bit. And I'm going to go... Uh, here we go. So it'll be... Just finding them. So we've got boilers. And let's get the boilers in first. We'll go have a look here. There's a gap of one. And a gap of one. Um, and we should be able to put some pipes in next. So we'll put the above ground pipes, please. Just checking if we have access to those. And one more. That's going to be there, there. And let's increase this guy to there. And we'll get those burner inserters too. We don't want to use burner inserters after that at all. So we'll do that. Um, and see, they're having coal issues because they're diverting quite a bit of coal. Oh, the coal's not getting where it needs to. Actually, the coal is. We just don't... Yeah, we just don't... We, we seem to be sending a lot of the coal down south. Right, what's that split doing? This is the backlog from earlier, so we really just start producing coal. Uh, and that's because of the burners. Oh dear, okay. Radio. okay, so let's do something here. Let's collect this. Let's collect some coal here. And let's collect as much coal from these as we can. We're having power, um, power outages. And let's load these guys up manually just to keep us running, and we'll get some coal running in. Okay, geez, the electric network is just something that didn't didn't really work for us. Uh, it really did get out of date pretty soon. Uh, we got we need a bit more coal for the last one. Actually, what I should be able to do is just go in here and take half of that and pop him into here good okay let's see if we can now just quickly grab these engines and you're going to be here and here please and you're going to be here and here uh, using the same setup it'll be there there and there and there and that uses those poles and that increases our production now so let's have a look here if i click on a pole i'm now satisfaction is 4.5 with production at 4.5 as well roughly so we should be right now so that should be good power network is good let me see if it was a frame rate thing no these guys are these guys are going a lot better now and everything seems to be working now which is good coal is now coming into here and then backing up steel plates are looking pretty good and i'm going to collect some of those steel plates because i can use some of them up for different various things uh, and we'll start to bring the steel plates uh, where we need them okay let's do a, a little bit of uh, a little bit of this now i've got to be remember when i do this um, not to because i kill myself and one other thing i realized is uh, which I, I had no idea keep a little barrier there on the edge um, but one other thing I did realise is if you go too close to yourself like that, you damage yourself. Um, I just wanted to, sh just to, to demonstrate that I'm an idiot. Um, we want to keep a little, try and keep a bit of a, a bit of a, uh, a buffer of trees. Uh, although we keep saying we want them to attack, but you know, well we do want them to attack, don't we? But we've got a little buffer of trees there because it is nice. And it's supposed to help, uh, but it is nice as well, so that's pretty good. Okay, oh, we did, we did, uh, yes, yes, that's right, we we severed the network until we had a coal backlog, and we do have that, so let's do this one. Uh, you go there, okay, and hopefully when he comes in, he feeds in, and hopefully we've got some symmetrical, because that looks great, the little ballet of them doing that. Uh, are you guys producing? No, see, occasionally you th see things stop producing. And you think what's happened and one of the belts has turned around or, or, or kind of straightened up and the, t the, cu the curve has gone. It's gone very straight. Um, and I think that's happened here because these guys have stopped making my lovely... My, ooh, ooh, my lovely red... Um, uh, what is it? Red... Oh, and green science has also stopped as well. So we've got issues. Uh, why has green science stopped? Why have you stopped? We haven't stopped. You just... Yeah, you're, you're consuming. Green science is slow, although the products for green science aren't too bad because in green science you need 
belts and inserters, and you've got those, and you've got a backlog of those, so green signs should be just kicking off. Um, but the backlog, we've got the... I think we've just used so much science for what before we just research. So we might just leave the research uh, there because we are getting ahead of ourselves with the research. Uh, this guy here, let's have a look what the red uh, red needs. Uh, it's steel plates that's the problem. Let's have a look. Steel plates are here. Steel plates are supposed to be split into this. Sorry, steel plates are meant to be... Why aren't you doing that? Why can't you reach across? Is it the wrong side? Yeah, it is the wrong side. These steel plates need to be on the other side of the belts. Um, right, let's do that then. Let's get steel plate production on the other side of the belts. Hmm, okay, let's do this. So we want steel plates to go the other side of the belt. So you're gonna have to simply go like um, right. Why did why did this just come up now though? This is very odd. Mm -hmm. Let's do something like uh, this. Okay, we'll do that, and we'll then go uh, that then. That's, and I'm going to go here, here, and you're going to go, no, you're going to go down and now across to there. So you'll start putting them there, and we will now collect the steel plates off the other side of the belt, and it'll probably get us a whole lot of other stuff. Let's see if we can just get all them off. Uh, yeah. I'm going to collect that. This is all, I don't know if it's all good or bad, but we're just going to collect them, and let's see if we can get these steel plates only on the left side of the belt, please. Or the close side of the belt. And they should be collected now. In fact, they should be collected. Why are they not being picked up? What do you do? Steel plates. Ah, you only get it off here. What, what's happening here? Ah, steel plates go there. Right, this is... That was Nout. Uh, right, I've, I've confused myself here. Steel plates are coming under here. And then what are they doing? Steel plates are coming under here, and then they are... Well, I was doing something early with the steel plates. I don't know what I'm doing with the steel plates. Ah, this thing here stopped them. Right. I don't know. I, was, I, I think I was just continuing the bus, to be honest. Let's get rid of that. And let's put it... Let's get a temporary one going for here and here. And we'll remember that we need steel plates. So I'm just going to just get this guy to go here and here. Uh, let's see. Now we must have an issue here. Steel plates need to be on this side. So you're making, so you've got these, these, and ammunition is a double. So you've got ammunition and then one each of those. Okay, steel plates must have been split onto the other side of that one. What's happened there? Do it you as well. Yep. So steel plates must have been on the other side of this at some point. And why are they not? What, where did the, at what point did steel plates get put onto here? Hmm. I know what I could do. No, that won't work. Steel plates need to go here, don't they? Yeah. Let's try something here. I'm going to bring you all the way across. If steel plates go onto the side of this belt, that'll work. Uh, they're going down the middle as a transport, yeah, as a bus. Um, you've got these guys, which is just coming off there. That's another bus there. See, I've got everything sort of mixed up. Okay, steel plates need to just simply go under there. So we'll add them to the other side of the belts. And if I go like... I wonder if I can do it at that junction there. Um, oh, but I need to split them, don't I? Yep. Okay, that's right. So if we go... Yep. Yeah, and you're gone as well. And can I put a splitter there? No. Can I put a splitter... There. 
No. Oh my god, I don't know. I don't know how I can do this. I don't know how I can get steel plates here into this into this belt. I simply don't have enough room. Uh, let's do this. Let's go like this then. Let's go here. Get rid of all that. All right, and let's just go for the sake of it. And I will have to. I'll have to basically fix this at another point. But I've just got myself, if I do... And I can't fit anything else in there. That's a little sound saying everything's full. Okay, um, right, we're having issues now. Okay, let's get the steel plates going around here. Yep, so steel plates are coming around there. Now they're gonna come around here. But I've put a splitter here and I should be right. Uh, where's the splitter, where's the splitter, where's the splitter? If I put one, say, there is right. Now that could be good. Yep. I thought splitters were singles, not doubles. What's happened here? My, my splitters must have upgraded. Okay, that would mean steel plates would now go there and there which makes them go underneath, which might make it flow down here, which gets the uh, red ammunition flowing again. Right, well that was a giant palaver. Okay, so that is how that is gonna work, and we are going to, how are we gonna get there? What are we gonna do with the lines? Now we're we gonna send them, they'll be here, so where are we gonna send them? <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm thinking now, I have to think about where I'm going to send uh, these lines, because I do want to be able to send the bus all the way along. When they get here, do they go north or south? They could go south and run all the way back towards here, towards the factory. But I think we should send them north and, and file them back in. Even get them running across the water in their own little area. Uh, those bugs have gotten all the way inside. Um, and so I think we need to... Uh, well, let's do... Yeah, let's do this while we're there, because this will use up some, some. Oh, not that. Let's do that. Uh, oh, we need, we need those walls. Okay, because it's, because at the moment we have a lot of stone. So let's go get some walls, and fix this up. The the bugs are in. Uh, these guys are all going to be gone. And we come back here. Okay, cool. So we do need some walls. So I'm going to take half the walls. But to get to do half the walls, I need to get rid of half the stone. So do this, and if I go, you're out. And if I come back here, I should be able to go take 1,700 walls, and that fills me up. And now we'll clear the walls out by adding extra in here. Um, oh, actually, I probably didn't need anywhere near that many walls just then. So let's add them from the inside. That was silly, actually. No. There you go, the walls are added, and we need uh, a few more gates. We had 17 gates there, so we do have one at the top. And double gate there, and we've got one, two, so double gate. Well, let's do five gates and see how that all goes. Just quickly tidy it up here with, with some, um, some repairs. So I notice you've got to click on top of where it needs a repair. Um, like that. Okay, these gates are good. Look at them when you open. So they're good. Okay, and everything's nicely repaired. So we are good, I love that. And apparently you can run trains through the gates, which is great, little little five gates, which is good. Let's, uh, let's do a little, uh, let's do another wall, and we'll go there, there, and let's do one more gate as well. So that's pretty good. Okay, moving on, we are now moving down to, uh, to have a look. Do we need to check on the defenses in the lower section? Um, how are we going down there? I mean, I don't think all hell is breaking loose, but I don't think it's far off, so that could be interesting. Um, we'll keep an eye on that. So, I don't know, it's 39 minutes, we might leave this episode here, I think. Um, we have now used Neil House's, um, uh, on Catherine and Sky's recommendation, um, their, uh, his blueprint, and we are producing, which is lovely, uh, which is nice. Uh, I'm just going to collect some plates and see if these guys, uh, if you go look here, nope. 
we have a full inventory okay uh, and I will go and drop off some inventory as well we seem to have picked up a lot uh, a lot of unnecessary products so let's go back into here uh, yeah can I iron chest can you be bigger I don't know if an iron chest can be bigger can you take him off no so you've got that one um, I suppose what we could do is just get yeah what we might do ooh, interesting uh, this is what we'll do just for now I'm going to go uh, <laughs> I'm going to go here and here and I'm going to add in uh, this one and go here and here and then these all fill up okay cool so that's pretty good and in fact I want to get rid of uh, these guys some of them and while I'm there we will not need you guys as well so you're out yeah, but I will take say a hundred of them maybe uh, yeah and I will take say actually probably need a hundred of those guys as well so we'll just take those as well so that's pretty good okay we've topped up just a little bit with what we need and we do have uh, all sort of uh, 10 to about 20 spaces there which is nice okay so I think that's pretty good I uh, you know what I'm going to be doing in between episodes I'm going to be um, uh, I just want to see something looks missing up here we got everything no, it's copper production. So I think, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get these guys going and fill them up. I'm gonna get one here and one here, and then we'll fill the middle one in a bit later. Um, and that's gonna be them. I'm gonna run them north. Uh, we'll probably end up just running. Yeah, we'll run a lovely thing here. We'll run some across. I'll probably run it all the way up and all the way across, and I'll feed into the bus from from the top. Um, and that'll be how that works. And I will run those two next to each other as well. And we'll we'll split those a bit later into four uh, on each and fill it all in because we need to be able to ramp up. We need room to ramp up. And I just wish I, I wanted to build a compact base. Everything everything's as I planned. But I think I really uh, <laughs> I now need to be able to scale up and. Um, I shall do so. So I hope you're enjoying my Bida world. Don't forget to leave a comment down below, uh, down here somewhere, down there. Don't forget to uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.